Hi everyone, this is Julia from The Art of Creating and today I have a quick and fun video for you. This is a picture of Pikachu from Pokemon and I wanted to paint something quick and easy so I found this picture online and I thought it was just adorable and I wanted to paint it in watercolor in my tiny little sketchbook. So I've sketched it out off screen just to make sure that I get it right before I start recording and then I wetted the whole face and the ears except for the, the dark tips with water and then I'm adding some yellow and I've just mixed a light yellow and a slightly orange yellow which is the cadmium and uh, lemon yellow together to get this tone. While the paint is still wet I'm adding a little bit of umber and then I'm also going to add a little bit of ochre as well, yellow ochre, just to give it a little bit of a warmer yellow tone. As I'm painting I'm adding a little bit of extra shadow, of course in the picture as a cartoon it wasn't shadowed much at all being the anime but uh, I wanted to make it look a little bit more 3D so I've just gone ahead and added some extra shadows and just darkened around the edges to make it look like it was um, a more of a 3D shape. Once I've finished with the head I've done the same thing with the rest of the body. I've wetted everything with just clean water and I just made sure that I've added the water into where the areas were overlapping a little bit to get a smooth transition. And then I'm also adding a bit of umber for the shadows and then adding a little bit of yellow ochre as well to warm it up a little bit. And then adding a bit of yellow ochre as well in the other areas where the shadows are not quite as dark. So those shadows were just under the head and uh, just where the belly is and the areas where uh, I guess some parts are covering other parts which is for example where his arm is kind of overlapping the leg. I've also added a bit of extra shading around the back just to make it look more rounded off. I've gone with my yellow paint right over those stripes which I'm going to add a bit of brown to later on because as you well if you paint with watercolors you would know that you can always go darker but you can't go lighter so if the stripes were lighter color I would have left them out but because I'm going to be adding brown to them later I've just decided to do the whole layer of yellow and then adding brown on top of it. Once I finished with the body, I did the same thing with the tail. I've added a wash of yellow, added a bit of amber for the shadow, and then I'm going to add a bit of a brown for that bottom part of the tail. Because the paint was still a little bit wet, I wasn't able to get a sharp edge on the tail where you can see the lines sort of meet the, the rest of the yellow color. So I've added it I wiped out a little bit of color where the light was, um, I guess, hitting the tail, so the, the part that wasn't in shadow. But I'm going to go back into it later on and just crispen up the edges there and just add those little lines. Pretty much added the same color for the stripes as well. And then a bit of sepia right on the edges there to just emphasize the fact that it's a curved shape. Once I was finished with the body pretty much I've added some details starting with the little cheeks and I'm using cadmium with a bit of um, English red and I'm just uh, being really careful with my brush not to go over the lines as it would be a bit harder to wipe out red over the yellow. Not impossible but I didn't want to make extra work for myself and then I've just added dark sepia onto the ears so not much water pretty much al almost pure paint just to get that nice dark color and the same with the eyes I've decided to use dark sepia instead of black as it's a little bit more interesting I prefer to use dark colors rather than the black so for example dark blue or dark green or dark brown it just um, looks a little bit livelier not as flat as just plain black then I'm adding a very pale wash of pink for the mouth and just adding a tiny bit of um, paints grey to just dull it down a little bit. So that was cadmium 
which is a uh, kind of a bright pink color so just to dull it down I've used a little bit of paints gray just a tiny tiny bit and then dark sepia for the inside of the mouth and now I'm just going around and adding some details just adding a little bit more shadow just to emphasize a few things darkening things up a little bit just to make sure that I've got my darks to create the shape as dark as I want them to be and the next thing is just to create the cast shadow just to make it look like he is sitting on something and not just floating in the air and to do that I'm wetting the area with clean water once again and then adding a little bit of purple and paints gray mixed together to create the shadow so same thing rather than using either just brown or gray or, or black to create the cast shadow I'm using a contrasting color still mixed with a dark color like paints gray but it makes it a little bit more interesting a little bit more natural and it also creates a contrast so it stands out so that's it let me know if you want to see any more pokemon painting and which one you would like to see and if you enjoyed it click thumbs up and i will see you in my next video